Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Cold Waters episode number 15. So we're on the Sono Buoy because I think that'll be relevant to this episode. Um, last map was, I mean the last mission was the Enhanced Navigation Map. Again that mod I highly recommend. It has really, really improved like the quality of gameplay at, at the strategic map level. I'm extremely happy with it. And um, I don't, it's not cheating or anything, this is absolutely information that every submarine commander would have access to. So I don't want to spoil anything more. We already know there's going to be some kind of interesting event that happens, or interesting events really. Uh, several things to talk about, and I didn't really address them at the end of this episode, or I didn't address them in a manner which I think is appropriate. So I'm actually going to come back and do a bit of a post-mortem on this episode at the, uh, well, at the end of this video. So enjoy the episode. I hope you find it exciting, and uh, then I'll see you back <laughs> to for the postmortem, basically. I just want a good detection profile on it, so we can launch a torpedo, and then we can go a little bit faster and a little bit deeper. We're not going to need our towed array when we're going faster anyway, so we might as well go deeper, which gives us a little more time to react to things as well. Apparently this Riga is just, it's impossible for them to detect us currently. Let's load up this Moss. Yeah, oh, it's way too far away, okay, never mind. Hold out here, let's actually go faster and make our depth. Let's make it a, a kind of somewhat dangerous 350 so I can go a little bit faster. I think I can go um, ahead normal or, f let's see, head one third, two thirds, head normal. I think it is a head normal, right? Well, they're going to just say 20 knots, but uh, head normal for a while so we can get closer to this Riga. Yeah. And one, I, I don't remember where it is at what depth you can go a little bit faster, but let's assume it's like 330. I think it was around 330. Oh, this Riga is actually closer. Discard, disregard. Turns for one, zero knots, maneuvering eye. Much closer than we thought. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, zero, nine. Okay, has no way of detecting us though. I guess this Riga is pretty much the worst in terms of doing anything. Only high frequency passive. Yeah, that's really bad. <clears throat> they don't even list active here, so I don't know why they have this active rating even. But this Riga, I mean, I bet it's going pretty fast or something to expose itself like this. Let's just launch our torpedo, slow down, launch our torpedo, and uh, be on our way. We'll go faster again after that. Okay, launch. So once that goes, speed up as well. Once that goes active, I mean, starts looking for target, we will guide it to the surface. Just wait for that to happen. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's a sonar buoy. Looks like a big white pill. <laughs> I think it's an active sonar buoy, so we should see some pings from this, actually. Where is it in relation to us? We can see if that's correct. It might be a passive sonar buoy. Yeah, it's kind of where I thought the Riga is coming from, or maybe where the Grisha sank? Is the Grisha nearby? Grisha's way over there. So is it further behind us than I think? I don't know. I can't tell based on our perspective. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's somewhere over here. Alright, well let's go back to full speed ahead. We're not making... And okay, there's another... Oh, that's, that's not good. Well, that looked like a torpedo, but it actually ended up being a sonar buoy. Yeah, there it is. We actually see that one. We'll probably be detected. Let's speed up the deployment of this torpedo so I can just get it on target and forget about it. Since it is so deep. Okay, 
Okay, go active, go active, go active. There it is. Let's get you to the surface. Okay, that should be close enough to acquire without any problems. All right, let's go back to ourselves, and we're gonna speed up a little bit more. Make turns for two zero knots, maneuvering eye. Con sonar. I mean, we may get a chance to employ the tactics of deploying noisemakers a little bit earlier. <laughs> Which, yes, I've, I've heard those comments. I don't even mean to sound like at all negative about that. I really, truly appreciate positive feedback like that. Constructive criticism. It's how I'll get better, so. That, my friends, is not. Make turns for three. Recon sonar. We are cavitating. That is not Make turns for friendly. Two, six, There's now a torpedo nine, in the water somewhere. Con sonar lost contact. Con maneuvering. Making turns for two, six. We're gonna slow down. We're gonna create a noisemaker headed right behind our torpedo. Nine. Con sonar no longer cavitating. Con maneuvering. Making turns for. Come on. Sonar. Make turns for. Well, I think the plane is right over us. Con sonar regained contact on. Oh god, depth charges. Make turns for three, three not. Make. Make turns. didn't look like they did anything. We need to get this noisemaker out pronto. Make turns for zero not. Maneuvering eye. Torpedo room, tube four ready. Okay, launch. Shoot tube three. Up. Twenty knots. Make turns for two zero knots. Maneuvering eye. We are going to use our speed, and we're going to use. We're going to hover very close to the ocean floor. We don't need our tow to ray at this point. Con maneuvering, making turns for two. Hopefully this will buy us enough time to just get out of the eye of the storm here. <laughs> they will have a choice between one and the other. The moss or us, which one will they choose? That's the question. Okay. Oh! Okay, this is it. Showtime. Come on, pick up the moss, pick up the moss, pick up the moss. It's going after it, okay. We just have to captivate at this point. We have to, just, let's not play with fire, let's just get out of here. It is going after that, momentarily. It has now lost the moss. So we have to use this time to get out of the way. Go, go, go! We'll eventually circle back around. Will it get us, though? I don't know. Looking. Looking. It didn't get us. Woo! Alright, score one for the Moss. Moss one, torpedo zero. It looks like it's actually circling back on the Moss again. Now, I had a discussion with this. Ah, good. Got the, got the Riga. Uh, I had a discussion about this with somebody, saying that it doesn't make sense that an active seeking so uh, torpedo would actually pick up a moss, which just has such a narrow profile. Such a, it would have such a small active signature. I think it was Janus. Janus has been pretty helpful in terms of constructive criticism and feedback about the game and all that. So let's uh, play with fire a little bit, and make our heading a little bit more south than west. We're expecting incoming depth charge runs like this. Don't think we have to worry about more torpedoes, at least. At least until the helicopters get over here. And you know what? Well, that's a... I mean, that beacon's right on top of us. Forget it. That beacon is, like, right on top of us. We'll put it in our baffles, though. And just try to get away from it as fast as possible. 
Last time I played, though, the airplanes ended up following me the entire way, putting buoys just all over me, constantly. So let's load up another moss. Oh, just kidding, we don't have any. That's not ideal. Well, I don't think we're going to need anything but maybe one more torpedo. We already sank two defensive ships. There could be a third one out there. Certainly could be, but... Yeah, I'm just I'm willing I'm going to be willing to make some noise for now, uh, in order to get away from these buoys. Look at that, but that's so funny that this thing is like what? And here it comes back again. God, knuckle formed. I don't know what it is that was just dropped. Probably another buoy. Yeah, right on top of us. Uh Yeah, this is... That's, uh, <laughs> it followed our moss the entire way. Have these guys, like, begun to home in on us? Because when they do that, we're going to have to encounter another set of torpedoes. Doesn't look like they're sharing information, even. We are really close to the bottom. 400 feet here, of course. We've really found our way into the, the sweet spot. Well, you know what? 300... Let's just... Full speed ahead. Nothing we can do. They're going to put buoys on us the entire way back now. I'm not even sure we can avoid buoys. Uh, I saw something drop in the water there, but I guess it's another buoy. I can't see this one though. It's funny. Uh, you can't see these buoys. Do they? Yeah, they don't. They're not something you can actually detect. Three hundred feet. Hmm, okay. Fair enough. Well, we might as well just get ready and launch the t lambs a whole bunch of them, because I think we're close enough now. Let's check. Yeah, we're 150,000 yards. I'm pretty sure that's within 100 miles. Didn't do my math beforehand to figure out what exactly the distance is, but I'm pretty confident. We're not going to be able to avoid these uh, sony sonar buoys. So why bother? Okay, we shouldn't be cavitating in a moment. Might as well come up to... Uh, well, 250 is fine. I, I want to get my tow array free, and I think it's closer to 180 feet you need to deploy your tow array. Just to make sure there's nobody else closing on us while we're doing this. Okay. Okay, we're about to be targeted by something. Another buoy, probably. When will he run out of buoys is my question. <laughs> Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 2, bearing 2. Eight, I don't care about seven. you, Dubna. Just do your own Con thing. Maneuvering, making turns. You don't worry about me, I won't worry about you. Okay, well, let's begin our launches then. It's nighttime, so we won't be able to really see the effect of these on target, but hopefully they are still effective on target. And we're kind of a little too far, actually, turns for one, zero, west. Nine, I want to go down this river out. for as long of a distance as possible. Turns so let's forward, head a little bit one, more straight zero, south. Not. I'm sure the time compression will be stopped in a moment when that blasted plane overflies us again. Or has he is he out of sonar buoys? I'd be okay with that. Nope. One more, I suppose, will drop. Right on top of us. I don't know. I don't know what that was. It, whatever it did, it cancelled my time compression. All right, are we looking a little better now? Uh, all right, let's go. Turns for Ten for a little bit further. One zero knots, maneuvering us. It's gonna be a long episode just because the damn T land launches. Always everyone's favorite, right? Okay, here we go. Slow back down. Make turns for five knots, maneuvering us. Yeah, this is fine. 150,000, I'm pretty sure is less than 100 miles. 
Let's go ahead and launch. Let's launch right into that damn airplane. When I hear it go over me, and just... <laughs> Maybe we get lucky we take it out. Alright, here we go. Making turns four, five, launch all two. tubes. Shoot two one, aye sir. Shoot two two, aye sir. Shoot two three, aye sir. Shoot two four, aye sir. There's the next one. Pretty cool. Alright, let's head on. This is not... I think I can see one further in front. No, I can't. Let's keep this dead on myself. Okay, we got another sonar buoy next to me. That's fine. I'll take that. Might as well speed up. Ten knots, just because... It'll help us avoid torpedoes if they do launch another one on us. These have a long way to go, though. And we'll just stop when we get all four loaded, and we'll launch again. Our return path might be take us. Might we might move over to that Dubna, sink her on the way out. I mean, when we're on the way out, we might as well just sink everything. off time compression. What does that mean? No torpedoes in the water? Oh, is that another sonar buoy joining us? Yeah, another sonar buoy. Fine. Do it right now. It's better than... <laughs> just get them all out. I don't know how many of those things you have. My god, but apparently a lot of them. Okay, well I see land. Land ho. If the, these have a good height. I haven't seen any explosions or fire. I mean, we weren't following them the whole way, but I didn't see anything which indicates that they were intercepted by any kind of um, anti-missile fire. Let's see them home in on the target then. This is pretty high. I wonder how... Oh, I could see how. Never mind. These kept going long enough. Because uh, giant turkeys, as I said, we're actually getting colliding with terrain. I hope we don't have the same problem. Oh, we have all these set up as well. So we really should just launch the next set. I don't want to do it until I see where the, how these guys hit, though. Oh. One, two, three. Four, five, oh, where's weapon four? Four. Okay, good. We got four homing on target. All right, it looks like we have four out of eight. Good. That's fantastic. Now, supposedly, they're homing in on target, so I kind of want to see the terminal run here. This is deep. This is like way in there. Way inland. They passed an initial... What? I don't know why they're going over water again. This is water, isn't it? Why was there an island? There was no island they... Maybe? I don't know. Um, I hope this is intentional. <laughs> okay, so we... I... Look. I'm pretty sure this is not supposed to happen, but we're going to ignore it. We're gonna turn a blind eye. I'm not gonna watch the next ones hit because it doesn't look like they actually. <laughs> looks like they're just hitting. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's just forget it. Launch. 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 Let's get some real torpedoes in here. Oh, yeah, I have two extra t lambs. Whoops. No, do a normal t lamb. Let's get all the t lambs going. And yeah, and a harpoon, why not, to boot? 
But we're going to start turning, making our heading, let's say, about 330. Are the helicopters on us yet? I don't think the helicopters are really paying attention. Oh, nope, they are. They're close. Okay, that's good. I mean, it shouldn't be so difficult to determine where we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're definitely closing in on our position. So I'm surprised we haven't had any other torpedo launches against us yet. Each of those should carry a torpedo. It says land strike not complete. I guess once it acquires a target, it's good. All right, well, anyway, let's just go ahead and launch the remainder three. We don't have any other use for these T-LAMs other than hopefully to assure that we complete the Come mission. On, room, tube one ready. I'm just gonna launch these as they load. Like, hello, we're still here. They haven't launched any new buoys lately, so maybe, maybe there's hope. Maybe they are running out of buoys. I could just launch this Dubna, too. <laughs> How many harpoons do we have? Not that many. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Con, torpedo room, tube two ready. Yeah, they keep loading in order. That's why I shouldn't have loaded this Con, one. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Okay, let's launch this. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Shoot two three. All I land attack three. weapons are away. Land strike complete. Well, get out of here. Get out of my ship, you stupid T lambs. Four. I sir. All right, make speed. Nope. Never mind. Make depth. Con, two zero zero. Torpedo Whoops. In the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing one, three, two. Countermeasures immediately. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. They did not respond to countermeasures. Flooding in the machinery space. Con sonar no longer cavitation. Hey, at least they took care of our cavitation problem. Cavity control party. Made in the machinery space. So I, if you notice there, I did launch my countermeasures immediately. And I'm not sure it was helpful. Well, I mean, obviously it wasn't. And another one in the water. We can't... Okay, let's launch countermeasures now. Decrease our depth as well to kind of follow this down. If this hits us, we're dead, right? So... It doesn't look like it's going around this, is it? See, this is what I mean. It, it says it, it just ignores this. Let's launch more countermeasures. Launch countermeasures. There it is. Is it enough? I don't think so. Yep, two countermeasures out. Zero success. Batting 0 for 2 on those countermeasures. Low ballast. <laughs> well, we'll abandon the ship. Uh, that's kind of what I feared. Looks like there was one more Riga that was undetected. That's it. That's going to conclude this series, man. That's kind of a bummer that we're going to end like this. Uh, just in time for the new map, which I was really excited about, too. Uh, this obviously would be a very dangerous mission. I can see that this is uh, already well over. So we're, we're into episode 15 already. Which I, I'll have to put some cuts in there and we'll go around that. But that's going to call this uh, series to a close. Um, I don't know what to do about those countermeasures. I launched that first one, if you want to check the video, uh, right as I saw that torpedo immediately. And then the second one, I actually launched the torpedo, the countermeasures immediately as well. And I think I even got off a second countermeasure, wasn't that true, in time? So didn't have, or, or was the second torpedo already just going right through the initial noisemaker? Um, I think that maybe it's almost like a benefit for the Russian ordnance, that it doesn't seem to curve around the noisemakers. Um, hard to say. Hard to say. I don't know what I could have done better there, and I'll, I'll probably look at the. I'll probably look at the footage just to see if I if I had done something wrong. But so we lost this. Did we actually get to continue the campaign? We do. We're not dead yet. 
I think I might still bring this campaign to a close. I, I don't like... I, I, first of all, I, I'm nearly 100% sure <laughs> if you're sunk outside of a Russian port, you're not going to get a chance to come back. So it doesn't really matter what we choose here. I don't think that we'll end up um, playing this. The one that I would do is probably like um, the Narwhal if we had a chance to go back to that, but there's only one of those that are unique. So let's just do random. We were given a Sturgeon, it looks like. Yeah, Sturgeon class. Um, but we probably won't actually do this one, so. We did hit Mermanx, that's true. I hope our war efforts were well appreciated. Uh, yeah, so technically we can continue this if we wanted, but let's assume that this series is coming to a close here. And as always, if anybody makes it to the end of my series, I really appreciate uh, your dedication. I realize that the people who are watching this are usually the more, the more interested parties in my channel. And as such, I do take your comments pretty seriously in the, in the end of any series, the last episode of any series. So if you have any recommendations for future series, future games to play, anything like that, let me know. Uh, that's how uh, I even, I wouldn't be playing Cold Waters unless Gaustreif had recommended Atlantic Fleet at the end of one of my Rule the Wave series. And I do take these things seriously, so I, I played Atlantic Fleet. And from that, kill also Killer Fish game, that's when I began playing Cold Waters, when the Cold Waters was released by Killer Fish as well. So yeah, I hope this series was still enjoyable, despite the fact that we ended up dying twice. <laughs> Peace talks. Okay, well, this is interesting. Maybe it's the end of the game anyway? Huh. Well, I might, I might continue this series. I'm not sure yet. What I'll do is I'll pretend like we are going to continue the series. And then I'll just save when I get out of here. I didn't even look at our orders. Uh, yeah, tankers, tenders, that stuff. Okay, fair enough. I love the new map. We didn't really get a chance to use it either. So, anyways, I'll pause here and we'll uh, we'll bring this to a close. Ah, uh, yes. So here we are back. Um, I have spent a little bit of time thinking about it. This the whole submarine. Death, Death Far Submarine. So, these homing torpedoes, the one thing I want to say, like I, I was analyzing the own my own gameplay video, and the one thing I probably could have done just to confirm that they weren't, that they were completely ignoring the noisemakers, was I could have just tried to make a turn hard left or right. Obviously, the second torpedo, we were already down to like 10 knots maximum speed. That one was just impossible. And I still think that that one's a little suspicious because it ran through two noisemakers just full steam ahead right at me. Uh, so that one, that one I have a hard time believing what was going on with it. The first one though, I, I mean, I like, it's easy for people just to wave their hands and say, oh, I didn't make any mistakes, but I think I could have done a better job like swerving left or right, which would have, although the reason I don't do that normally is because I'm waiting for the the lock around, I mean, it's the countermeasure avoidance um, algorithm to engage on the torpedoes, which sends them in a half circle around your your noisemaker. When that happens, I'm waiting to see which direction it moves, and I like to move into the direction it moves and then rapidly change depth. Obviously, if you don't, in this video, we wouldn't have had depth to be able to change even, so I probably would have gone in the opposite direction just to buy more time, which is, I think, the SOP for... Um, for uh, the US Navy. Um, I'm sure Jive Turkey would know, but uh, I'm just guessing that they don't have this idea to move into the torpedo, but it actually makes a whole lot of sense if you have the <laughs> godlike ability we do to be able to see which way around the noisemaker the torpedo is going. Uh, the You wanna be as close to it as possible if you change depth significantly because it's, again, okay, so we'll just use this as a, a vertical this is the vertical plane, the depth plane. Maybe the, you call this the Z axis, maybe the Y axis, I don't know. Uh, so surface water, depth of the sea, the sea floor. If we uh, dive below, let's say that the torpedo is like right here. So that, let's say we rise above it. The cone extends much more in the vertical plane the further out it goes. So the closer we are to it, the less 
distance vertically it can see. And that's why I do that. I'm sure that you guys already know that. It's not very difficult geometry. Um, that, anyway, I always wait for that left-right break of the torpedoes, and I was assuming it was going to happen after the noisemaker or before the noisemaker. And that's why I didn't change direction. Okay, but that's a lot of <laughs> rambling on. I just wanted to come back and... Um, I did laugh a lot about how I titled that I would be coming back for a post-mortem. I'm not sure. I hope that wasn't a spoiler. It would have been the words I used even if we hadn't died, just a post-mortem of the episode, just basically a recap. But, um, yes, I guess there was... <laughs> it was definitely one of those double entendres, so... Anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. Anyway, um, I don't think that this series will continue. I'd rather jump into a new submarine. So, I doubt that there will be any cold water content for um, a little while at least. We're going to let, you know, take a, a little bit of time off. Um, I always, I, I like to come in really refreshed to these series. And we've been playing cold waters basically straight for the last two, three months. So, uh, I mean, it's not something that's out of the question for a future series, but um, maybe we'll take a, at least a couple weeks off. So that is going to be the final, this will be the final episode of this series as the Narwhal. I would be happy to come back in as the Narwhal again even. Because I didn't really feel like we got to utilize, the, I mean the things I really wanted to do were explore the extreme depth that you were able to get to in the, in the Narwhal. Um, and with the enhanced navigation map we probably would be able to plan our engagements accordingly or a little bit better. So. Okay, well, anyway, I don't know why we just were stuck on the screen. I hope this wasn't too much of a rant to listen to. Again, I think I already mentioned it in the previous, well, in the recording itself, the live recording. But uh, if you have any comments, I do take the, those very seriously on the last series, of, or last episode of a series. So feel free, to, feel free to leave those, and as I always do, I'll try to respond to all of those. So thanks for watching, and until the next episode or series, take care.